always, welcome back to Sound Code Live, guys. We are, of course, here weeknights at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. So continue to send us in your questions, your beauty hacks, your tips. Mm -hmm. Can't get enough. I know. How would you uh, be most likely to wear your scarf? Your wraparound kind of gal? The wraparound, because I've got a lot of real estate right here. So I'll probably have a choker <laughs> on underneath my wraparound scarf. I mean, it's spring, so it's still chilly enough to yeah. wear a scarf. So why not still rock it? And, and then you can do the tips. big reveal, take the scarf off, oh, and there's yes, the choker. Exactly. Well, as much as we are mad about uh, chokers, we're also mad about matte makeup this season. We've mm -hmm. seen celebrities like Kylie Jenner, Mila Kunis, and Jessica Alba all sporting the matte look and looking beautiful. And then girls on social media clearly loving it as well. You can check them out right now. In fact, our very own Rachel Smith posted a picture on Instagram just today I of know. her rocking the trend herself. I am obsessed. But here to show us how to pick the right matte products is celebrity makeup artist and Snooki's go-to guy, Joey Camasta. Come on in here, Joey. Hi, ladies. How are you? Oh, it's Love really nice to, to have you here today. today. How well, are you? I'm you great. know your makeup oh so well. Absolutely. And you have great social media following Thanks. and presence mm -hmm. as well. So thank you for that. Yes. Well, I know that you've already mastered the trend as we witnessed per social media today. But Joey, tell us all about what exactly is matte makeup. Absolutely. Matte makeup right now is really on trend because it's so fresh and, and healthy looking. So it's really easy to achieve a matte look really um, effortlessly. So what they can do is celebrities like Kylie Jenner, they love it because it's really perfected and it's a full on makeup look. But people can just take it to, if they want to try something new, just try one matte feature like yeah. a matte eye, a matte lip, or a matte skin. And this is not your mama's matte because everyone's yes. so scared of matte <laughs> makeup because it always looked heavy or cakey back in the day. But now the technology is so incredible with all these new products. Mm -hmm. So it really looks seamless, effortless, and beautiful. Yeah, many of them actually contain an antioxidants. Oh, sure. And they'll, they'll be like long lasting and stuff like that. Love so that. great components added in. Yes, ma'am. And you're going to give us some keys to mastering Yeah, we got great stuff well. for you guys today. So let's hop let's to it. it. Okay. Uh, our model here is Susie. Hey there, Hi. girl. Hi, Susie. Hey, girl. So today, Joey's going to show us how to get that matte look by first prepping the skin, which is super important, then tackling the lip, adding a little blush, and finishing of course, with those eyes. So That's let's right. first start with Susie's skin though. Yeah, so when you get out of the shower, you want to make sure with any makeup, you're moisturizing your skin and your lips. So you can use any moisturizer or lip balm beforehand, mm -hmm. and that's going to prep your skin for anything else you're putting on, whether it's matte or any foundation. And that keeps it from looking cakey, and of course, you're keeping your skin hydrated Absolutely. and healthy as well. Yeah, so after, after your skin is prepped with moisturizer and lip balm, you want to do a primer. Primers are great. I love this one here. This is NYX Killer, uh, Shine Killer, and this is great because it's really, really smooth. You put this on, your pores are going to get minimized, mm -hmm. and your foundation is going to go on really, really smooth, especially when you're using a product that's matte. You want to make sure that you're prepped your skin first, so it really looks goes on really smooth and effortless. Yeah, because the whole point is to make your skin look flawless with yeah. matte flawless. makeup. Do you and use a primer? Um, I do, but you know what? I use a primer with like a backlighter in it, um, okay. so I'm assuming that is not correct. We'll do the I'm opposite. We're going to do shine killer with this. We don't want to yes. add a luminescent to this. You want something matte. So this is going to be great. You're going to keep your skin matte. Your foundation is going to go on a lot smoother, and it's going to last all day for you. I know. That's the key to the primer, guys. It's like like if you're going to paint your wall, you put a primer on Absolutely. first and it helps it last long, the coverage is better, and it really does, it's like a game changer. It yeah. has been for me for the past two or three yeah. years. Yeah, I find if you, want, if you want a really professional look, you have to kind of put the work in beforehand. So prep your skin with moisturizer and primer, and then you're going to get a better result at the end. Yep, and it makes okay. the foundation process uh, more efficient. I guess you actually end up using less of the product, but the foundation that Absolutely. you're going to use on Suzy is... Yeah, so this is our, this is uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. Okay. And what's great about this, I love this because first of all, it's super accessible. You can get it anywhere, and it comes in 24 shades. So no matter what nice. your skin tone is, between light, dark, warm, or cool, you're going to be able to find your perfect shade no matter what. And since the price point is a little bit lower, you can buy two shades and mix them. Um, six dollars. Yeah, that's a bargain. I like that. I'm going to go with that for sure. Of course, that is available in our style carousel. So uh, find the color that's right for you. I'm and using shade 115. Okay. 115. On Susie, okay. so it's just a light kind of ivory beige. And with this, you're going to see. I like using a brush with it or a sponge. With this, with matte foundation, you want to make sure you're taking the extra step to um, make sure you're blending it because it is a little bit heavier than a tinted moisturizer or a, or a, you know, a lightweight foundation. So you want to make sure that you're getting a really good blendability with it. I like using a foundation brush with this one here. And that's a synthetic one, I'm assuming? Yeah, you want to do a synthetic because if you're using a natural brush, it'll suck up all the good juices and antioxidants and all that stuff. Well, that so defeats this, the purpose. Yeah, so the <laughs> synthetic brush is great because it actually just kind of makes sure all the product is going on your skin and you're not wasting any product, which yeah. is important with the foundation. Absolutely. In a pinch, is it okay to use your hands as long as they're clean? Yeah, absolutely. You just want to make sure you're massaging it into the skin and blending into the jawline. You don't want to see any line of demarcation, which can be tricky when you're using a matte foundation because you're getting a bit more coverage with it. Okay, okay. fair enough. Okay, yeah, and this so is going on beautifully. If you don't want to wear a heavy foundation like this, I suggest a BB cream. Mm -hmm. This one's great here. This is Rimmel's BB Matte Cream. 
It's the nine in one wild. So this is great because you can use this a little bit for more of a lightweight look if you awesome. don't want something so serious as a matte foundation. Joey, I'll have you continue with yeah. Susie's foundation. Frankie, do we have any questions coming in on the chat right now? Absolutely we do. So actually someone's, um, uh, several people are concerned about is it okay to use for acne prone skin and is there a certain skin type that, that takes to matte makeup better? Well, absolutely. This is great because typically matte foundations give a bit more coverage. So if you do have some problematic skin, you could get a little bit more coverage with this foundation. So it's actually great for someone who has a little bit of a breakout or, you know, a skin that you want to make sure you want to cover a little bit heavier. Awesome. So oh, excellent. And also, do you have any um, recommendations for, like, I, obviously the entire matte look is um, some a, a choice, but would you um, add some shine or, you know, like sparkle to it? Yeah, absolutely. Area like I said highlight? earlier, you can do a feature. Um, and matte or all over matte, but if you're doing an all matte look like this, you want to freshen it up a little bit, you can just take a little bit of a luminizer and just kind of highlight the tops of your strobing. cheekbones. Yeah, or a, or a blush has a little bit more of a sheen to it. Okay, cool. So it looks like, is your Her coverage foundations. finished with the foundation? Yep. Fantastic. I mean, it already is looking so flawless. You had flawless skin before, but it's just yeah. even more impeccable now. It's just a really <laughs> nice you. coverage. So then yeah. we've done the foundation, so then where, where are we going to go next? Are we going to do... Next we're going to do... Let's do the lips. Let's How do the, the lips, lips next. This is great. So the liquid, the matte lip gloss, um, trend right now is huge. Everyone's doing them. I love juleps. Yeah. This is juleps here and this is called Beso. Yeah. And this is a really great, it's a whipped lip, whipped lipstick. So it's actually like a liquid lipstick. The applicator is really cool. As you can now, see that. that's matte, that's moisturizing, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it is it's hydrating. Rich in like, yeah, antioxidants. And then, like, I'm so impressed with how long it lasts. It's, it's unbelievable. It's really insane. It's yeah. great. And some, it's something like um, you can put on once in the morning. It's going to really stay throughout the day for you. But um, if you have a little bit of a, she has full lips. Susie has full lips, so she doesn't need um, a lip liner. But if you do have a little bit of a thinner lip, you can take a lip pencil and kind of okay. cheat the shape first. So but we'll this, I just like going right in the center. And this brush applicator is great. And you just go right in the center. It glides on really creamy. Awesome. And Remember, guys, if you like what you're seeing, and Joey's obviously already doing an amazing job, make sure you click on the shopping mm -hmm. tote, give us some style code LOVE, and mm -hmm. you can find everything that he's using in the style carousel so you can attempt matte makeup yourself at home. And exactly. look, the one application, it's just one layer of it. It's not, you don't have to keep dipping. It's just really just one application. I you get so much product on this brush. It's really awesome. I think it's because of the wand, maybe. I'm not sh exactly sure. But and the formula, nice. it's super, super creamy, and it yeah. glides on super effortlessly. Yeah. So we're, uh, as uh, Joey's applying the lipstick, he mentioned earlier, that you know he did the hydrating for the lips already to make sure that the the pigment goes on nice and smoothly mm -hmm. if you need to use a lip liner you can so as soon as he's yeah. finished with Susie's lip we'll have him dive into the blush and yeah. there's some really neat little tips and tricks there in this. regards to giving it more of a dimension yeah absolutely so they're just finishing up a lip here I hate rushing you through the orangey red because it's such like an intricate process you want to make sure no, that see, it's done it didn't yeah. take that long there oh, you go look at that yes, queen. 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 Go on. <laughs> there she is. I'm glad to you Joey I yes, love queen. that Okay, so let's get to the blush. Next to the blush. What's great about this, this is Shani, and this is a palette. It comes with six blushes here. I love about this is because you, you make your own, it's like you make home your own artist. So with this, the palettes allow you to kind of create whatever you're looking yeah. for. I like to do mental dimension blushes. So I'm going to do a lighter shade just to um, cover the apples or cheeks first. Mm -hmm. Smile. Just so there to give a nice pop. Look at you, not nice. smiling. Just having her makeup done by you, Joe. I know. <laughs> I'm using that light pink shade there, just lightly first. And I'm using a few shades to kind of give a dimensional look. Not necessarily contour and highlighting, more just kind of creating dimension okay. with your blush. So, so that's going on the apples first. Nice. And then I'm going to take one of these deeper shades, actually mix them. I'm not driving. <laughs> Let's do it. There you go. Get it. Two shades. And turn this way under the cheekbone, and that's going to create a contour and a lift oh, without nice. being like a dark gray contour. It's just okay. going to be still like a blush shade, but. Gives it kind a little more dimension, a little more life. Yeah. Um, that Shaney palette is uh, around 17 bucks. You get six in one. I'm all about a palette right now. Unbelievable. Right. Look at how much just color that you've brought to just a lot of And also nice dimension, which is great because you kind of, again, be your own artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And remember, guys, if you attempt the matte makeup trend at home, we want to hear all about it. So take a, a picture and post yes. it on social media. Hashtag it Style Code Live so we can see it and we can maybe have you on the show and yeah. show love your this. picture. And let's finish Lines things up. off with yeah. a little love on the eyes. Love it. So, so I'm using a little rock yeah. matte, um, matte pro palette here. And this comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades. Yeah. And these are all matte shades. These are great. Again, you can be your own artist, create anything from a light day look to a dramatic evening look super effortlessly. So you go to day to night, uh -huh. have this in your purse or in your desk, and it's perfect. So, easy so I'm just going to go and just kind of smoke her eyes out a little bit. I love that burgundy shade. I think it would be go great with this warm kind of thing we're doing. Gorgeous. So I'm just going to take a little of this and just kind of sketch the line of her eye. Let's get in there really close so we can see it. We can follow his his movement on the eye to see where they're he's They're super pigmented, that. too. So I'm yeah. just kind of using it as an eyeliner. Since she has a bold lip on, we don't want to go wild with her shadow. Yeah. Right. But we're going to just kind of smoke the eye out. 
And Just the great thing, oh, I'm sorry, Lance. Oh, the great thing about this Lorac palette is that you can use it either dry or wet because of the heavy pigment in it. So you're actually getting double the shades because yeah. once you wet these shadows, it's going to almost become like a powder, a liquid liner almost. Yeah. It becomes very, very intense. Just remind everyone what the cardinal rule is when you're going with a bold lip. Yeah, exactly. You want to pick a feature. Like I said earlier, pick one feature um, that you're going to enhance, whether it's a bold lip that night or you're going smoky. Kind of balance it out. There are looks you can go, if you want to go very Robert Palmer girl, you can <laughs> do all of it. Open. Everyone's going to go. Know, that's pretty. Amazing. So let's Palmer. go ahead and do the other eye. Yeah. And of course, there are more so matte beautiful. eyeshadows available in our style carousel. Should we check in with Frankie yes, while absolutely. you finish the other eye? Yes, Frankie? Okay. So as Tinfoil Chat says, does your lip and cheek color need to be in the same family? You, um, well, you can kind of mix it up between what you're doing. I, I, yeah. Essentially, yes, you want to stick warms and warms and cools and cools together. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a pink lip, you don't want to do necessarily uh, an orange cheek. But you right. kind of, in the same family, it always works best. Yeah. Uh, but you can have fun with it because it makes it removable. You can kind of do Absolutely. what you like. But yeah, have fun with it. Yeah, cool. I think that's a, that's a point too. Yeah. yeah. How do you apply your um, matte mm -hmm. eyeliner and eyeshadow when you're doing it? My matte eyeliner? I actually do a liquid liner. That's great. Um, I've, I've been playing and testing it out. Of course, like there's that old saying that, you know, you never ask a girl that's wearing wing yeah. eyeliner while she's late. Yes. <laughs> Don't. So okay. These are great because you can actually wet your brush with these and it does come with a jet black in this palette. Yes. Just use this if you're not scared of a wet liquid liner. Use a little damp brush with the black and you'll get a perfect wings liner look uh, effortlessly. Joey, so many great tips. Let's Thanks. check out Susie's before and after quickly before we head on to our oh my yes, goodness girl. what do you think Susie I love this lip it was just it's shocking I it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> I it's, I love it. it looks amazing Thank yeah you. you look incredible you look fantastic awesome. it's not one-dimensional or flat at all you look beautiful and healthy and I'm going to have to find out what your secret is for your skin because it's incredible. It's so nice. All right. Well, Joey, thank you so Thanks much for, for having coming me, guys. and showing us yeah. that makeup. Remember, guys, attempt that at home and send us your pictures to uh, Style Code Live. Susie, thanks so much awesome. for being our beautiful guinea pig. We have more Style Code Live when we come back, so make sure you do not go anywhere. Yep. Oh.